just uh, downloaded this uh, button off Thingiverse. Just go download and you save it. It's quite easy. All right, so now I'm going to open Simplify 3D. Uh, let's reset this. All right, I'll drag it so you can see the whole screen. All right, so we'll import the file. 16 millimeter button. There it is, and just open, and the file just pops in there. That's not a problem. All right, so there's our file. That's pretty cool. Now, to print it, just check my process. It's already set up for my FlashForge Dreamer. Now, I'm only using the left extruder. Now, because it's a button, I want it in PLA. Yeah, I prefer medium, so 200 microns and 100% infill, so that way it'll be nice and strong. Um, but the infill, instead of the normal rectangular, I'm going to choose concentric, and I'll show you why. All right, we'll slice it, and oh, there we go, it's done. So if people that don't know how fast uh, Simplify 3D is at slicing, that's a really good example. All right, so as you can see, see these zigzag patterns? All right, that's, um, that's how prints usually come out. All right, and that's what the button will look like. However, if I go back here and select concentric infill, so that way, bang, it's now sliced. Now we're going to have round patterns, so it'll actually look uh, a, a little bit better rather than the normal zigzag sort of pattern. All right, so that looks pretty good, and you can actually get a get an idea of what it's going to look like. Just hit play. I'll turn on the tool so you can see how it's going to print. I'll just speed that up a bit. There we go. So you can see exactly how it's going to print. And it's actually made the tool the right same dimensions as what it really is on the FlashForge Dreamer. All right, we can fast forward a bit until we get here. And you can see it's going to slow down at certain points and then speed up. Uh, just to get an absolutely beautiful, beautiful print. So it's going to use, uh, what, uh, 23 centimetres of material, costing two cents, and it's going to take about seven, oh, four minutes. So, all right, so we'll just save this to disk. Okay, so we're out on the Flashfield streamer. We'll um, just snip this... Uh, uh, the last bit of filament that we used. I don't worry about um, unloading it. Right, and here's my filament holder. The pen is just a backup. Right, so unroll it. There we go. Got our filament. Okay, so we got our new filament. I'm going to do the button in black. So just poke it up through there. It's not a problem. We'll just lift the black up and when that's ready we'll poke it through. Right from the home screen, tools, filament, load left. And we'll just wait for it to warm up. We're nearly at 230 degrees Celsius. And as you can see the green filament is starting to ooze out. So once it, there we go. We'll now suck the green filament in. And basically once that um, lever moves up, there we go. We just uh, push that down and the teeth will, uh, will grab that filament. And this is still flowing. And very soon we'll see some black come out. There we go. And that's how easy it is to change filament. I usually let a little bit uh, drill out. There we go, that'll do. So we'll grab a bit of glue. Just normal Yoohoo glue stick. And uh, we'll put a bit of glue in the middle. 
Uh, so our button has something to stick on to. Just a little patch there. Left PLA button, 2200C, print. So as you can see, it's got to warm up the platform. And the chamber has gone green. Uh, this is using the new Simplify 3D. It actually changes the interior LED colour to let you know what status it's up to. So the colour is still green at the moment. Uh, the platform is not quite ready yet. When it hits around 58 or 59, it'll start heating the left extruder. There we go. The colour just changed to red, as you can see. Uh, and that lets you know the bed is now ready and it's just warming up the left extruder. 197, we're not far off now. And here we go, it's turned green. And just pull this like that before it starts printing. And here's our button. And there's those concentric patterns that I was talking about. So you can see, um, <coughs> zoom out, they're already 32% in. And uh, just before each layer change, the interior LEDs will flash uh, to let you know that a layer change is happening. See if I can get that on camera. There you go, you saw the flash, so it's now starting a new layer. So now we're at, uh, let's have a look, 71%.
find the speed according uh, to what it thinks will give you the best outcome. Right, so it's now finished and it will flash the interior lights R red, green and blue to let you know that it's now finished. So there we go and it took seven minutes to print that was it. So let's have a look. I had to get the spatula to uh, pry it off the bed because as you can see <laughs> uh, the glue did have a pretty good hold of it. All right, so here's our button. Let's uh, we'll go out into the light a bit. So here's our final button. As you can see it's got a pretty nice pattern on the bottom. And yeah, it's nothing uh, extraordinary or anything but uh, uh, yeah this cost about two cents to make and seven minutes um, it's a really really good looking button and <coughs> yep it's <a> strong <laughs> uh, yeah there's uh, the, there's no problem with uh, with the strength of this button as you can tell with the dint on my finger there okay so there, there we have it, a perfectly uh, working button thanks to Simplify 3D and the uh, Flash Forge 3D printer. Um, just a really, really cool thing to have, uh, have at home so you can make your own little bits and pieces, including a button. We're on our sewing machine. Now I've got my 3D printed button all, all lined up. There we go. I'll do. All right, let's have a look. If I can focus, <laughs> there we go. There's one part sewn, and now we'll just do the other part below it. We've uh, finished the second part of the button, so as you can see. We've uh, we've done the two stitches, top and bottom, and it's all sewn up and fully working. So there we go, a fully uh, replaceable uh, button for my pants, uh, printed on the Flashforge Dreamer uh, 3D printer. How cool is that?